Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys a basic general care guide that will apply to most species of aquatic turtle. In case you guys didn't know, I'm giving away a hatchling diamondback terrapin that one of my turtles had. And so I figured if I'm going to be giving one away, I might as well show you guys how I would take care of hatchlings. And hopefully you guys can replicate this with your own animals because I found a lot of success with these methods. So before we get started today, uh, it turns out that 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So if you could please do me a really big, hello dragonfly, a really big favor and just hit that little red button. It should be right down here in the little corner. Hit the subscribe button down there. It would be doing me a really big favor. Thank you. This video was also determined to be put out by my patrons. So if you guys don't know, I put out exclusive content over on Patreon and get people's inputs and ideas. You give a monthly donation and you are also going to be entered to win one of my baby turtles if you go there. And then in return, you get background videos and updates and live streams and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So make sure you head over to there and they get first updates of when exciting things such as baby babies popping out of the ground happen. So as I mentioned, I'm giving away a baby turtle. And so the criteria is you have to be a patron, but you also have to show me an example of what setup you would keep that turtle. So I thought today that I would show you what I prefer people show me as far as setups go. I've had people show me they have 75 gallon tanks, 55 gallon tanks, you know, these big, beautiful ponds, but it's much simpler than that for hatchlings. And I think that it's beneficial when it's a little more simple. So let's take a look at my hatchling enclosure and I can sort of go piece by piece as to the elements that I've included and why I think that this is like the ideal setup for most hatchling turtles. And it can be applied to almost all of the aquatic species. So first things first, this enclosure is not large by any means. This is a concrete mixing tub that I got from Home Depot for $14. Baby turtles don't necessarily need aquariums and sometimes they're actually more stressful because the walls of the aquarium are clear and if they can see out, they'll constantly try to swim out of their enclosure and it could stress them out. I also need to mention that it's basically the job of baby turtles to hide, pretend like they're not there, and eat until they're large enough to go and reproduce. So anything that you can do to make your hatchling turtle feel more secure and hidden, such as blacking out the walls, will definitely help in the long run. I just recommend using a smaller enclosure so it doesn't stress out your turtle having so much space to explore. Basically, they see it as more space and more angles that a predator can find them. So once you have your enclosure picked out, let's talk about water depth. While most species of aquatic turtle are really good swimmers, some of them are not. Even if the species of turtle that you have is a good swimmer, I always recommend keeping them in shallow water with plenty of plastic floating plants or live plants if you have them. This is just to make sure that they don't drown and that they can easily climb or swim up to the surface if need be. This is for the baby turtles to do just like this one here and hide in them and make them feel secure. This enclosure is only a couple of inches deep and maybe a total of five to 10 gallons. I also have a little basking platform right here and here that the baby turtles can use to get up under the sun. I recommend at least having UVB lighting and this is to prevent metabolic bone disease and is crucial for healthy growth on baby turtles. I have a whole video on lighting right up here that you can click on if you guys are unaware about what UVA, UVB is. So another aspect of this tub, keeping it outside, I don't have to worry about this, but you should have a heater, an aquarium heater. Any type of aquarium heater will work. Make sure that it's sized proportionally to the size enclosure that you have. Heat the water to 82 degrees to make sure that the turtle's metabolism is nice and high. The temperature of the turtle body is entirely based off of the temperature of their surroundings. So if you keep the water warm, you will keep your turtle warm and you will keep their metabolism nice and high, which helps them grow. And also a higher temperature will help with their immune systems. Hi guys, these little boogers are hungry. You're also going to want to make sure that the water is nice and clean. So you can do this in a couple of different ways. You can either use a filter like I use. This can be an internal filter like this Aquion internal something something filter that I got off of Amazon for like 20 bucks or you can change out the water almost every day or you can do both which is exactly what I do I change this water probably every other day and I keep that filter running to remove the solid material and waste from this little habitat so keeping that water nice and clean is gonna be a really important aspect to the long-term health of your hatchlings some people like to keep turtles in depths that are way more than what I have here but I don't like to do this just because I think it's unnecessary and just stresses out the animal even more by all means you can up 
upgrade them and keep a nice large habitat when they get larger. But when they're in this fragile little hatchling stage, their entire job is to hide. So everything that I've mentioned up to this point will give you a solid hatchling turtle enclosure. Now let's talk about drowning hazards to hatchlings because it does happen. A filter that's too high powered can suck up your hatchling turtle and pull them against the intake of your filter and could potentially drown them. So using something that's relatively low powered or turned to the lowest setting might be beneficial. This is also why I recommend having this nice and shallow. It's to reduce the risk of drowning. Also, that's why I recommend these fake plants and not necessarily a lot of caves or pieces of wood or anything like that because your hatchlings can and will get stuck in them and it's just not worth the risk for them getting stuck in a cave to drown. Something like this allows access all the way through for the turtles to swim in and there's basically no hazard. But that's generally how I keep my hatchlings and how you guys can have a lot of success keeping your hatchlings as well. Almost all species of aquatic turtle can benefit and will thrive in an enclosure like that until they're four inches or so and large enough to be upgraded into something bigger. Maybe three inches actually. Whenever you notice that they're really really strong swimmers that's usually when I upgrade them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's like blistering hot out. I'm going to go inside, take off all of my clothes, lay on the cool floor, and pretend I'm not alive for 20 minutes. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Head on over to that giveaway. Check out the Patreon, subscribe, all that fun jazz. You guys know what to do, and I'll see you all in the next one.